getting a really contemporary kind of arts vibe as well as kind of a bit more traditional stuff. So you've got kind of galleries galore, which you can kind of do during the day, particularly the contemporary art gallery. It's got like Dali, Picasso, Mira, all those kind of Spanish things that people do need to check out. Um, so that's, that's one that I definitely throw on the list. But the thing that kind of really surprised me is the city itself is incredibly green. Um, okay, load it up, ready to go. Get the cab and the chassis stripped. Hopefully, when you see it again, there'll probably be a lot less cab and um, a nice new looking chassis. I think a bit of the cab might stay out west. Getting the disc ready. All the parts cleaned up. Got most of the um, baked on grime off. Now for a final clean. Right side, left side. Cleaning up the front diff while I wait for the uh, chassis to come back. All looking good. Welded up that uh, cracked bracket. sorted out a few things on it. So now I'm going to um, etch it with a sulfuric acid and then paint it with um, POR15 I think. Well I am. Um, all the parts of our wire wheeled all looks okay. The ball and claw now you can see that there's a little bit of pitting there case hardening it's got some wear on it they fit okay, they, 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 there's not a real lot of movement in them. Anyway, there's no replacements, so I'm going to give it a go. So I'm doing all the nuts and bolts. I've seen Jason Hill wire wheeling everything, so that's what I've done. Uh, I'm going to get them gold, zinced. But the washers, I don't know if it's worth doing the washers. So what I'm thinking of doing, hairbrain scheme number 487, I'm going to put the washers in here, all the washers from both sides, put them in here, put a bit of beach sand in there, and then uh, strap that container to my orbital sander. I don't know if anyone's watched Itchy Band Moto, but um, it's an Itchy Band moment, and then just put the orbital sander on, and yeah see what happens what could possibly go wrong not sure if any of you have watched um, Project Binky and admired the way they uh, spend the time on their planning and the jigs and all that stuff to create that uh, the GT4 engine into the Mini but along those lines I'll come up with this that's a plastic tub put the washers in there uh, probably a bit of petrol or thinners, a bit of sand for abrasive and um, see how we go what could possibly go wrong that's my motto for this project okay problem number one was uh, when I had it set up in the bench it decided to um, shake all my tools out of the bench and onto the floor so uh, yeah revision B is to put it on this milk crate I'm a bit reluctant to put anything flammable in there because of the electric motor running underneath. Anyway, I've got a fire extinguisher. Um, revision two, I took the water out and replaced it with, um, sorry, took the petrol out and replaced it with water and some washing detergent. I couldn't um, stomach the fuel, the petrol in there. It reminded me of a story of a mate um, once, he spent the whole weekend painting half his house and when he'd finished, he was um, washing the paintbrushes in the laundry with petrol. And he had one of those instantaneous hot water systems. 
Anyway, what he was pissed off about was that when the house blew up, it blew off the half that he'd already painted. I was a bit annoyed. Okay, I'm calling it not a total waste of time. They're not like, uh... brilliantly shiny but they are degrees the rust is sort of gone although the colors there so the ones I'm gonna paint I can sulfuric acid them and they'll take it quite well and the little ones which I thinking I'm thinking of zinking gold zinking I think uh, they'll be okay as they are so yeah save a lot of time a little bit crazy house didn't burn down orbital sand is still working so, what's the worst thing that can happen? It didn't happen. It's, uh, I'm calling it a success. So, this is how it starts. Caked on grease and grime. How do we make this thing look any good? W40 will help there. Yeah, got my work cut out. I was wondering why the um, brake drum was so hard to get off. It's got like a three mil lip on it. Man, imagine the racket the thing made. Take a brave man to touch the brakes on this thing. Yeah, pretty scary in there. Furniture, car bumpers, even bags of lollies found among the debris. Oh, Roads and Maritime Services say to clean up. Started to um, work on the rear diff, dismantling it, cleaned it all up, give it a coat of um, 415. The bottom plate for the rear springs, you can see that, got a little bit of a crack in it there. So glad to have nipped that in the bud. I'll attend to that in the uh, process of restoring it. I haven't really got a um, bearing puller for this, so I'm gonna have to use uh, what I have got, which is a crowbar. Um, finished the diffs or preparation of the diffs so all the housings have been painted in um, POR POR 15 uh, I used them on this then I went to the Australian product the KBS I've sort of been swapping between one and the other I think it's I think it's the same they come out really good all the parts man it's so hard to um, prepare this stuff they've all been um, in the molasses for I don't know, a month then I make, and then um, acid etched, and then painted steering arms, U bolts, uh, spring hangers or spring plates, rear diff, hubs, steering arms, all the nuts and bolts have all been wire wheeled. Um, this stuff, I've got seal kits and everything for them. I want to get that um, zinc plated. I so I'm going to do it myself. Actually. Had a moment of craziness, so I bought a zinc plating kit. We'll see how that goes. So 
So yeah, all the fasteners have been wire wheeled, all cleaned up, everything's been painted. So the plan is to paint the chassis, put all the bits I took off the chassis back on, and then assemble all this on the chassis sort of in situation. Um, just sort of easier to handle. Once the diff's all built, I can't move it, it's too heavy. So I'll just put it in in pieces and put the centers in and yeah, it's easy enough. Set up the front suspension. Rear's pretty easy. I've got all the gaskets and see, the centers look all right. The diff centers, I'm just gonna, I'll clean them all, paint them the same and get the chassis. But the next, so the next deal, what I move on to now is um, preparing the chassis for paint after I get it back from the chemical dipping and then assemble all these parts. This is what I've been doing while the chassis's been away. So I'm ready to go. All right, uh, that's the end of this episode. Next, we'll get onto the chassis.